Hello students, I am Dr. Amit Bhatnagar, working as Senior Research Officer in the Department of Agronomy at GB Panth, University of Agriculture and Technology, Panthnagar, Uttarakhand. In this lecture, I will tell you about the advantage and calculation of muriate of potash, that is KCL, and the potassium sulphate. These two fertilizers are commonly used for potassium fertilization. And two other nutrients are also available, essential nutrients, and we generally do not consider these nutrients, but these two essential nutrients are there. In MOP, MOP formula is KCL, so chloride is available and in case of potassium sulphate, sulphur is available. So when we use this MOP or potassium sulphate, so we get two additional nutrient uh, beside from potassium. So for calculation, how uh, we can calculate and what are the advantages of this fertilizer. So most commonly used fertilizer is MOP, that is murate of potash and it is this potassium is also known as potash, potassium fertilizer or potassium fertilizer or potash fertilizer. And the chemical formula is KCl. This is KCl, potassium chloride. And in this case, the potassium oxide content is 60% and chloride content is 48%. So this potassium fertilizer are expressed in oxide form. It is K2O form, not in elemental form. Elemental form is used uh, for the, in case of plant case. But when we talk about the fertilizer, it is oxide form. And this uh, conversion formula is generally asked how this K is converted into K2O and K2O is converted into uh, K. So this is the formula. And if K2O is converted, then it is 0 0.83 is equal to K. So this is the in general formula and asked in examination. So this is the first fertilizer. But because of this chloride, this chloride hamper the starch synthesis and sugar synthesis. So this is not suitable for potato crop, which is starchy crop, as well as it is for sugar cane crop. Similarly, this is also not used for tobacco because it affect the burning quality. It affect the burning quality of leaf. So that's why this potassium fertilizer is not advised, not recommended in this crop, potato, sugar cane, sugar beet or tobacco. So this chloride uh, create problem and hamper the starch synthesis, sugar accumulation and reduces the burning quality. So in this case, we use the another fertilizer that is potassium sulphate and formula is K2SO4 and in this case, K2O content is about 50% and sulfur content is 17%, approximate 17%, 17 to 18%, in generally uh, 17%. So it means when we are applying the MOP, so we get two essential nutrient, potassium and chloride. So remember it. So by MOP, we do not get only one essential nutrient. We get two essential nutrient, potassium as well as chloride. Potassium is macronutrient and chlorine, chloride, is micronutrient. Similarly, in case of potassium sulphate, we get two nutrient, potassium essential nutrient, sulphur it is also essential nutrient. So it is both are macronutrient. Here it is one macro and one micro and here two micronutrient. So uh, always remember that we get two essential nutrient from these two potassium fertilizer. Now how we can uh, calculate the amount, okay. Uh, remember that if these crops are used, then don't use muriate of potash, then use potassium sulphate. So when we talk about the this application rate, so application rate of potash uh, is uh, generally 40 kg per hectare in general for cereals, maybe 60 kg, maybe 40 kg. So in general, uh, this potash, in, we use NPK in this ratio, 160, 40 kg, NP2O5, K2O per hectare. Okay, and then for nitrogen we can use uh, urea or diammonium phosphate. If we use the diammonium phosphate, then we get two essential nutrient, nitrogen and phosphorus. If we are using NPK fertilizer, then we get all these three: nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. And if there is a only source of potassium, there is no source of potassium, and we are using MOP. So how much MOP is required to fulfill this 40 kg potash per hectare? So we know that in case of potassium, K2O content is 60%. So 
So what does it mean? Its K2O content is 60%. It means by applying 100 kg MOP, by applying 100 kg MOP, we get 60 kg K2O. What is the requirement? Requirement is 40 kg. So we can rewrite this equation as 60 kg K2O is obtained from 100 kg MOP. So 1 kg potassium oxide will be obtained from 100 upon 60 kg MOP. And what is the requirement? 40 kg. So 40 kg this potassium oxide will be obtained by multiplied by 40. So it is about a 66.67 kg. So the requirement to fulfill this 40 kg potassium oxide 66.67 kg MOP per hectare. But important thing is that this MOP also contains chloride and chloride content is about 48%. So it means when we apply this 66.67 kg MOP, 48% chloride is also obtained. So jab kabhi bhi hum MOP dalenge, to MOP ke saath potassium ke saath hume chloride content bhi milega, chlorine bhi milegi. So now what is the amount? It is simple calculation. Uh, you can understand very easily that uh, to supply 40 kg potassium oxide, what is the requirement? Requirement is 66.67 kg MOP. And what is the chloride content? Chloride content is 48%. So 48% of this will provide the chloride content. So 66.67 into 48, it is converted into 100. Uh, it will give the amount. It is approximate about uh, 32 kg chloride per hectare. Okay. So it means we are applying 66 uh, kg MOP, then potassium is 40 kg per hectare, 40 kg K2O and chloride is 32 kg chlorine. So it is very uh, important. And generally we uh, forget about the chloride content. And this chloride is huge quantity because it is micronutrient requiring low quantity. But by the MOP we are getting a very good amount of chloride and this chloride interfere with the starch content, sugar content and the burning quality of tobacco. That's why it is not recommended in these two crops, starchy crops, sugar crops and the tobacco. So this is the calculation of MOP. So first calculate the MOP according to potassium oxide. Then this is the amount of MOP. Then we simply calculate the chloride content. We know that about 48% is chloride to 48% of this amount. So this is the way we can calculate this MOP. Okay, if a uh, crop is uh, sugarcane or potato, even rice, in rice, high starch content is there. So we avoid the, uh, this uh, MOP. So in a starchy crop, which uh, have more synthesis of starch, we should avoid this MOP. So in case of rice also, this MOP is avoided. And now the potassium sulfate fertilizer is there. We are using this potassium fertilizer and then potassium content K2O, sorry, it is K2O content. It contains K2O 50% and sulfur is about 17%. And the recommended rate of application is 40 kg K2O per hectare. So simple calculation is that uh, 100 kg potassium sulfate provide how much potassium? 50 kg potassium oxide because it contains 50% simple calculation. So we get 50 kg K2O from 100 kg potassium sulfate. So 1 kg potassium oxide is obtained from 100 upon 50 kg K2O so far and the requirement is 40 kg. So 40 kg K2O will be obtained from multiplied by 40 that is 80 kg potassium sulfate. So to obtain 40 kg potassium oxide, we have to apply 80 kg potassium sulfate. So 40 kg potassium oxide ko prapt karne ke liye hume 80 kg potassium sulfate dalna padega. This is the simple calculation. And the other essential nutrient, 
macronutrient is sulfur and it contained a sulfur 17 percent it contained 17 percent sulfur so how much the amount of sulfur it is very simple 80 multiplied by 17 upon 100 we can easily calculate it is 13.6 kg sulfur so it means to obtain 40 kg potassium sulfate the requirement is of 80 kg potassium sulfate and which also provide the 13.6 kg and it will provide 13.6 kg sulfur and 40 kg k2o and it is applying in hectare so it is on hectare basis so this is the way how we can calculate so 40 kg per hectare 80 kg potential sulfate and if dose is to be calculated in acre agar isko main acre mein convert karna hai then divide by 2.5 because in one hectare there are 2.5 acre so we divide by 2.5 then easily it can be uh, converted into acre to isko hum 2.5 se karenge to hum isko acre mein convert kar sakte hain to isse jo hai uh, hum acre ki amount bhi nikal sakte hain so generally it is calculated for hectare basis then it can be con converted into square meter 10 uh, 8000 square meter 7000 square meter 600 square meter because in hectare there are 10000 square meter so this dose is for 10000 square meter so one hectare is equal to 10000 square meter so accordingly if a field is for, no, 400 square meter then we can calculate this amount is for 10000 so for 400 square meter divided by 10000 and multiplied by 4 so this is the way how we can calculate the uh, MOP and the potassium sulphate. So in starchy crop, sugar crop and tobacco, this MOP is not used, potassium sulphate is used and by the application of MOP we get two nutrient, potassium as well as chlorine and by the potassium sulphate we get potassium as well as sulphur. So remember it that these two fertilizers provide two essential nutrient and this is the way how we can calculate the amount of potassium fertilizer. Thank you very much.